coming up on the Greg and Tim Show podcast. Team Show. Like team. Not Tim, but team. I mean, they they got this right in hell. Best things in sliced bread. Is like, that? before they slice bread, what do they do? That, Just that, rip it apart? Drives me nuts about <laughs> sports rumors <laughs> online. Like, make me up. Before when you September go, go ends. You, you, you combined just, like three songs. No, wake me up when September ends. And for inquiring minds, my favorite wrestler is Santino Morella. Get your earballs ready and welcome back to the Greg and Tim Show podcast. Here are your hosts, Greg and Tim. Hey, how do you like the new, uh, the new setup here? Fantastic. We're a lot further apart than we were before. I can barely see you over yonder. Uh, those old eyes, eh? <laughs> I have great eyes, actually. Great eyes. Yeah, I have an eye story to tell you sometime, but not this episode. Not this episode. I have another story. Awesome. Well, welcome back to the show. Uh, this is episode number six. Number six. Uh, 6.5, kind of. We six. had like a point five, half of that. Well, we had 5.5. 5. This yeah. is the full on six. six yeah. Solid six. So this episode will be a solid six. Six out of five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like 120%. <laughs> I'm not going to try any math. <laughs> I was told there'd be no math in this episode. <laughs> as long as we don't ask you when the Gerald Ford was president, we'll be fine. Yeah, the sore spot. But anyways, yeah, it's great to see you. Episode number good six. Good to see you. And great to see everybody out there. Thanks Those for people. tuning in. Welcome. Uh, we've been gaining some subscribers, some followers. Some uh, love. Some, a uh, lot of viewers. So it's, it's really exciting to see. Yeah. And we got a great show today for them today as well, right? Oh, for sure. Some interesting topics, a lot of good discussion. I'm really that's looking my, forward to now it. Now you're on to my line. See, no, I line. think you're doing it on purpose. We have a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> bunch to discuss. <laughs> and of course, our topic of the day. I always screw that part up though. The topic of the day. <laughs> top it off with the topic of the day. Top it, ticket, ticket, top it, top it, top of the topic. <laughs> and um, yeah, and which we'll leave for later on in the show yeah. because, you know, we want the viewer to stick around for a little bit. Please do, absolutely. And uh, we got our usual, uh, usual segment. <laughs> that was a great movie. The usual segment. Actually, never... actually, actually, the movie itself. I'm going to make people listen, mad right now. The, the movie itself was was okay okay the ending is one of the best endings of all time. <laughs> make people mad uh, i'm gonna make the same person mad that i made mad that uh when i said i hadn't seen uh goodfellas yeah i haven't seen the usual suspects i remember that movie i remember sitting in that movie theater and so what is going on and at the end of the, at the end of the movie it's like the lightning bulbs are, whoa so great ending. that was a tarantino I, I don't know i've seen it i think once. it's a tarantino movie i think that's why the light bulbs go off yeah, it was it was fantastic, uh, and we have a bunch of things to do today and talk about. Topic of the day, yep, uh, and which uh, we've already talked about. We've already talked about. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, I, it says here to grab your favorite beverage. What's yeah. your What's your favorite beverage? Favorite beverage. Uh, so in the morning, I love a coffee. Yeah. I'll always have a coffee in the morning. Yeah, that's just uh, something I do. I I usually have coffee here, yeah. which I have again today, because yeah. um, it keeps me awake. While I'm dealing with uh, Me. with you, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, I got it. I got if, it. If I'm going, if I'm going with a beverage to watch a sporting event, yeah. I, I'm just a straight like Coca-Cola Classic person. All right. Yeah. How about you? Oh, I love coffee. Oh, in the mornings, the yeah. most, sit down, have a nice coffee. You know that we Cup have Joe. we have friends uh, uh, that don't drink coffee, yes. so they're not going to heaven. <laughs> Is that how it works? That's how it works. <laughs> I was not aware of that. Well, we have time. We have time to um, tap on the microphone with my coffee, yeah. and we have time to let them know how much work they have ahead of them. Yeah. So let's let's all sit back, not too far, because no. I get in trouble for sitting back too far. Uh, enjoy your favorite beverage. Uh, hey, grab one. Yeah. And uh, let's roll. Let's roll. Cheers, buddy. Grab your phone. It's podcast time. It's the Greg and Tim Show. It's the Greg and Tim Show. It's podcast time. It's the Greg and Tim Show. Team Show. It's the Greg and Tim. Not Tim, but Team. Like Timu. Like the dog. Um, well, welcome back to the show. Uh, I, every time that, every time that, oh, uh, you gotta do the, you know, the clappity clap thing. 
No, no, I didn't stop anything. Okay. <laughs> I didn't stop any recording. <laughs> and action. it's funny, you know what? They don't even see the clappity clap thing. So no, 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 like, no, but I'm I cut it out because yeah. it's just to sync the sound <laughs> and everything on all the different sound uh, equipment. <laughs> Um, Mm. but no, uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say because, oh, the jingle. Yeah. How do you like the jingle? Do you think we should keep it or do you think we should move on and record a new one today? No, no, no. You have to, you have to stick with something. Once you, you can't just give something a little bit of time. Yeah. Stick with it. It's it's been three episodes so far. Some things you like, uh, you you get used to. It's like, oh, that's all right. That's whatever. And then by the it's like, oh yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, like you stick with it. Yeah, and and that's so, what that's what I recorded, right? So we'll stick it's with podcast it. Podcast right time. It's the great game team. I like the I like the jingle. Stick yeah. with this. Anyway, it's I, reading rainbow, that's which right. is great. I, I love, love it. Chaka Khan. Chaka Chaka Chaka. So oh, your... we went two episodes without saying her name. Chaka Khan. That's the problem. All right, we have a lot to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we so have tons. We, sh- okay, we should move on. on. Um, how was your weekend? Uh, my week was good. Um, so it's been a week today. Like we're recording this on a Wednesday evening. It's been a week today since we uh, went to the Jays game and uh, we lost horribly. Yep. Um, it's not not like didn't change my life if they won or lost, but yep. it would have been nice if they had won. Um, but yeah, we got back. Um, I don't even remember what I did. Oh, it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> I had loved ones over. I totally forgot anything that happened. <laughs> I, we didn't have any loved ones over, but uh, oh, it you, was you Thanksgiving. You had your extended family. Not over here. <laughs> Not over here. We went to their place. So you got together with We them. got together with loved ones. That's true. You're or, right. Or family. And family. <laughs> and family. <laughs> we got together with loved ones and family. Um, yeah, Thanksgiving was good. Uh, I didn't have as many adventures as you did. No, you didn't. No. No. Uh, this weekend I was in Calgary. So Wednesday, yeah. we came back at, at, th- at 3 in the morning thanks to your fantastic driving. Yep. Uh, and I spent Thursday uh, getting some work done. Friday, uh, we headed out to Calgary and uh, spent a couple days uh, climbing mountains. Uh, and uh, it's, my daughter was visiting a friend who was competing in the long track uh, speed skating championships for yeah. Canada. Uh and uh, Sophia is her name. She's going to be an Olympian, I'm told. She, by that's, you. that's her aspiration. So yeah. I can't say her last name. I, I found out last week I'm not allowed to say the last name. I so. do it. Edit a lot of last names out. So Sophia from Winnipeg, who uh, is a fantastic uh, long track speed skater. If, uh, if you contact her and she says, yes, you can say my last name, I, we will. I, for now, I'll, I'll, st- I'll, stay, stay, I'll stay safe. Stay so safe. so my, my 17 year old, <laughs> uh, my 18 year old daughter had requested to go and watch her compete. It was on yeah. Saturday. And Sunday she was competing. So uh, we went out there and then we had friends out there that took us. They always, whenever we go, they're gracious hosts and they take yeah. us, they take us up the, uh, the mountain of the, of the, of the trip. Right. So you want to share any pictures? Uh, I, absolutely. So you're going to see some pictures, pictures pop up, pop there, up uh, on the screen. Beep, boop, beep, just... boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep, uh, Tim and his lovely wife and his lovely friends. I, I went, I did some push ups on, on, on the mountain that, uh, yes, we can show a clip of. And, <laughs> and I moved, I, I, I moved, I think everyone was okay with where I was. And then I moved, I want to say six inches to the right, just positioned my body a little bit. And everybody freaked out wow, because you were so whoa. close. I wasn't that close. I, I was like, maybe three feet from the edge but you know a sure death there was like a super odd um on oh what was it oh on our instagram stories yeah uh i posted you doing push-ups and i asked how many push-ups tim should do but there was a really odd um like on the story like people that somebody that doesn't follow us the account was called something like pushing rocks okay (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, how does the phone and how does the internet know that you're doing push-ups on rocks and then, like, this account called Pushing Rocks or something like that, just, like... They're always watching you. There's somebody watching you at all times. Every uh, breath you take. But another big thing that happened uh, on Tuesday... No, today... Monday. So another thing, big, big thing that happened on Monday... Was uh, our Winnipeg Jets. So, okay, so we're getting to the point where you have, the, it's like the biggest sports uh, time of the year where you yeah. have all. Playoff baseball, yeah, all basketball, f- all four hockey, sports foot- yeah, exactly. are, are existing at the same time, which rarely happens. So, so many things are going on. By the way, going back to the uh, the Jays talk. So, so just to close off baseball. Yeah. Um, the 
AL East yeah. won collectively won the most games in the year, the whole season, the whole yeah. season. and they were not, and and the playoffs they were zero and seven. So Baltimore, Toronto, Tampa. Uh, and Tampa were zero and seven. So they went from winning winning the most games to winning the least games in the playoffs. So it it it, it really goes to show you, you know, sports is a fickle fella. Where you Fella. can, <laughs> it's a you, physical you, person. You, you can <laughs> you can do great one week, and, and then the next week you're you're on, you're on a mountain one week, and the next week you're you're in the ditch here. And the same thing with the twins. I mean, um, one week we could be, you know, they could be celebrating, you know. Uh, and then yesterday they were absolutely. They got dying. Sonny Gray who pitched the game we went to, who yeah. was was really good. He just he got shelled, right? So he you, you, just, you got never destroyed know. by. Yeah, got, well, Houston's a really good team, like. Houston is a better team than their record shows. And I think that they had some injuries during the season and a lot of stuff going on that way. So I think that they're a better team than they than they were. Like, they're a better team now than they were during the regular right. season. Bang on, a, bang on a drum, right? Banging on the drum. <laughs> so uh, so the other sports, so, so that's getting rid of baseball here. Yeah. Uh, but a couple massive news. Uh, first of all, if, before we get to the Jets stuff, uh, Bombers, uh, big game. They're down 10 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they uh, come back. And, and, and then they had a chance to win regular uh, the regulation, but they kicked a field goal instead, yeah. went to overtime, uh, and that game could have went either way. There's, and the this CFL is such a big game because now they, the – That the, was the tiebreaker game. Yeah, the likelihood – whoever won that game, the likelihood of them not winning the division yeah. uh, is, is really small. Like you have to win both games. The other team has to lose both games, and you're playing a couple of weak opponents, right? Yeah. And I think as at this point in the CFL season, it becomes clear there are only three good teams in the CFL. Toronto. Tr- Toronto, Winnipeg, and BC. Uh, and British e- Columbia. And er- everybody. The entire province. Everybody else, which is funny because we all laughed when uh, the Riders beat us in Labor Day and all of a sudden, like, they thought they were, you know, the best thing since sliced, sliced bread, bread, right? Yep. And and it's like, you, they're not a good team. And they, they got this right in hell. Best bread. things since sliced bread. Is like, <laughs> before they slice bread, what do they do? That, Just that, rip it apart? That's actually um, a routine from uh, what a big comedian where he talks about where do they get exactly what you're really? saying. So, oh, okay. so I'll, I'll, I'll find so it for I'm you. almost as funny as a comedian. I'll find it for you. And, and, and once I do, we can maybe put on the, at the end of this, uh, no, this, I this episode. I doubt it. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can do it. The greatest thing since sliced bread. <laughs> So this is it, huh, folks? A couple of hundred thousand years. Panama Canal, the Great Wall of China, even a lava lamp, (laughs) to me, is greater than sliced bread. What's so great about sliced bread? I have copyright infringement, all that kind of fun stuff. Don't think we can. Maybe you we can, can give him the we, we, On the top, we could say, you know, oh, we'll do a, Brian uh, Regan or something. Courtesy, a courtesy. Been Regan or Gaffigan or something like that. So, and then, and then, do you want to get to the uh, to the jet stock now? Yeah. So, jet stock is huge. Yeah. Um. So, I'm on my way to pick up my daughter at her birthday party. Which, yeah. again, as Tim said, my kids have birthday parties every weekend. Um. And I get a text from a buddy of mine. And it says, Shifley and Hellebach have re-signed. They're not going to announce it till later. Yeah. And a buddy of mine is like, I don't know him to have insider information. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, okay, laugh, laugh, whatever, right? Right. I literally went, ha ha. Because I, I didn't believe it. And then, uh, sure enough, uh, I text you guys. You and uh, the rest of the the uh, the road trip crew. Yeah, I'm literally. By the way, when you texted me, I'm literally on a mountain. I'm and, on the side of a mountain. And I text you, "Hey, I heard Shifley and Hellebuck got signed. I don't know how good my source is." Yeah. And ten minutes later, it gets announced. It wasn't supposed to be announced till Tuesday, apparently. Um, I'm guessing they wanted to get ahead of it before it got leaked. But uh, yeah, craziness. Shifley, Mr. Shife, right here. Shifley signs seven years, $8.5 million, and Hellebuck goes, I like that number. Yeah. I'm also going to sign for seven years, eight point five million, or vice versa. We don't know exactly what. Uh, <laughs> we don't know which it could one have been came the other first. Way. So he, it's the chicken and the egg. Yeah. What do you think about these deals? Which one came first? What do you think about these deals? I think the same thing I thought when Wheeler signed his. Right. Great for now. Yeah. Great for Winnipeg. Yeah. Great to keep a player here. I really wish Wheeler retired as a Jet. Yeah. Um, 
which means that I really hope that Hellebuck and Shifley also retire as Jets. Yeah. So Wheeler left for New York. Yeah. Where is he playing in the lineup? I, uh, it looks like he's penciling for the third line with Trocek, but who knows? It's early. Yeah. So, like, Wheeler, I really think that he, he's, like, playing for the league minimum. He could have retired as a Jet. Yep. It would have been great. Yep. We haven't had somebody, I don't think, retire as a Jet yet. Yep. Like, Bufflin left. Right. But did he retire? He's yep. retired now, but, like, he yep. wasn't a Jet. And unfortunately, Brian Little was forced to retire. So, but he was traded to Arizona. Right, his rights were anyway. Yeah, uh, he didn't play any games for them. So, yeah, just on in, on paper, he was traded for them to them. So, um, so initially, uh, of course, I like the tr- I like the deals. So, re- so retaining them, and I think that in the off season, if there was any kind of traction on a good uh, a response from another team as far yeah. as a package going back, I think that the club was open to signing them. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant on a couple. Of oh, things. a rant, a Timothy rant. So, um. Like, people will say, you know, should have signed them for four or five years, right? Yeah. Armchair quarterbacks or All armchair GMs, right? Yeah. Four or five years, we're going to get these guys till they're too old and a couple of years past the, the, their prime and things yeah. like that. But that's not how it works. I mean, no. they, I think the reality was uh, if you either let them go for less than you would like, i.e. before the trade deadline, um, or you retain them for a couple more years than you'd prefer to have. Yeah, uh, and that was the pill to swallow, and I think that was the right uh, action by Shevel Dayoff to do. Like you said, I'm uh, I, you know what? I think Hellebuck is still going to be a good goaltender in seven years. Uh, I Thirty-eight do ha- years old. He's going to be a good year. He's going to be a good goalie. Yes, Mike Smith is was still a good goalie at thirty-eight. I I, I could be wrong again. I could yeah. be I could be wrong. I think Hellebuck still will be a good goaltender in five to seven years. You know, there's some question marks about Mark Shifley. Um, you know, we, as a, we might have seen his prime years as, in 2018. As a forward, um, you know, is he going to slow down? Yeah. There are already question marks about his ability to play defense, uh, his commitment to, you know, a, a full game on defense and offense. Yeah. And is that going to be better or worse in three years? Right. So I think in my mind, there's more questions so, uh, about Mark Shifley. I, I, I think that to, to, to get a goaltender who is potential. Uh, Vesna winning quality yeah. um, is certainly, to me anyway, uh, the larger deal here. Uh, I I really like Mark Shifley as a human being from everything I've heard from yeah. him. Um, and I think he can be a very good player. Just most, like a lot of the Jets in the first half of the season last year were very good. Yeah. And he was just one of them. Uh, and when people said, oh, he was not very good the second half, well, neither were a lot of the Winnipeg Jets. There was a big fall off. Yeah, for sure. And and he was just, just one of them. So I really like Mark Shifley. I always liked Mark Shifley. I have a jersey with Mark Shifley on it. I'm happy that I get to wear it for another seven years. Yeah. Um, whether or not the deal is good, it's good now for Winnipeg. Yeah. It's good for the city to be able to retain talent. Yeah. Especially, like like you said, a Vesna winning goaltender yeah. in, in uh, Connor Hellebuck. Yeah. Any team would love to have him on their team. Right. So I, I really think that it's it's good deals now. Hopefully the cap keeps going up right. so that in, you know, years five, six, and seven, yeah. we can also have other players. Yeah. And the other thing too is if we're looking at years six and seven with a new goalie, let's say De Vincent's De Vincentis, however you say his name, yep. let's say he makes it big. He's he's a minimum minimum level like he's going to get paid the minimum, and you can still afford to have an eight hundred eight point five million dollar goalie right. when you're paying the other guy minimum for sure. Right? It's kind of like the Pavlik Hellebuck thing back in the day. Right. Right. So I think it'll be good. I think it's a I think it's a good signing for the Jets. I'm excited. Uh, Adam Lowry's new ca- the new captain. We got some new voices in the locker room now. Yeah. It's going to be a big difference. Rat number two. Rant number rant two. Number two. That wasn't much of a rant. Before. Number dos. Uh, Doos. Uh, the big old deuce. Rumors. Yeah. It drives me nuts about <laughs> sports rumors online. Hellebuck was going to Detroit. Uh, going. Shifley to, was going to Boston. Uh, and and this was. I th- what did it, someone? One of the big sports writers. 
uh, said that um, Dubois was 95% sh- that he was going to Montreal. Montreal. He re- and he said a number. I'm not going to say who it was because I could be wrong. 95% he was going to Montreal. He was going to go to Montreal. Not he could be going to it. He was he going was to Montreal. There. That was a direct was quote. Packed. I was like, really? Ninety five percent. You know that, like, yeah. and 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 of course he went to, he went to Los Angeles. But this is the th- I know things change, but it seems like every year that goes by, less and less truth has to be associated to a rumor to make every it year. Aired out. And it just seems like let's just throw something out online and get clicks. And who cares if I'm wrong? Let's get be the first one to do it. Let's 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 get the scoop. Let's name some names for what. Who's who's sending out these rumors all the time? Who is sending out? Or yeah. who, who who is sending out these rumors? Yeah, take, who, who's take posting pick. these rumors on the old Instagram? X, take your pick. Take, take your pick. X. It's all it's all there. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, no. I I'll tell you right now. One of the big culprits. Who's that? Elliot Friedman. It might have been Elliot Friedman who said the night. This, I think it was Elliot. Elliot Friedman, Friedman is a culprit and yeah. a half. Yeah. And you know what? He he's a great and anal- like a great like breakdown guy and i don't mind him on tv yeah but he's got to really really rein back the the whole rumor mill right he is no bob mckenzie right yeah i agree right yeah so the next generation is just not keeping up with uh with these rumors properly and i think the big thing is like the the twitter and different ways that they can get him out now yeah they want eyeballs I've gotten to the point where so my they're looking for I, eyeballs. I'll have friends text me stuff. Did you hear the this this? It's like I don't care. Yeah, wake me up when it happens. Like wake me up before when you September go. September ends. You, you you combined just, like three songs. No, wake me up when September ends. Green Day. Wake me up when September ends. Yeah, but you sang it. The, so I just the, the music totally was totally different. off topic. Yeah. I'm gonna go right off topic. Yeah. Not even on the board here. Yeah. I just listened to something on Audible called Welcome to My Panic, I think it's called, by Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day. Yeah. And I didn't realize this, but um, Wake Me Up When September Ends is a song about his dad. Okay. And uh, kind of like a 9-11 type of song. Hmm. So I didn't even realize this. His dad passed away in September. This of pa- No, like when he was oh, in grade four, grade right. five. Yeah. And uh, Wake Me Up When September Ends, they wrote it right, like... During American Idiot, um, they wrote that album during the whole 9-11 stuff, George Bush, all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> I, I didn't realize that. I just listened to it's Welcome to My Panic, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, it's really good on Audible. It's a, a free download on Audible. Yeah. It's uh, words and music. So, so you like Green Day more than I do, obviously. You should go to the Grey Cup. They're headlining. I heard. Half time. And, I, and- I'm actually pumped about that because like, I was a Green Day fan year, like in... 1994, I think, is when that's Dookie when they were, came out. That's when they were big. But I, I had their album Kerplunk and 39 Slappy Hours. And both of those albums were not as great as Dookie, but they right. were good albums. Uh, Dookie was great. Nimrod was great. They all they always had like a great album and then a lop. And then a great <laughs> album and then a... <laughs> and I don't know. It, like it's Dookie, time for the album. Yeah. And <laughs> actually, he talks about that during... It's an hour and a half uh, episode thing on Audible. It's yeah. actually really good. And it's called Words and Music. I listened to Alanis Morissette's, which I know you also don't like her. Oh, I didn't, say, I didn't say I didn't like Green Day. I said you like them more than More I than you do. Yeah. But it, it, it's just... It's a mixture of their music done differently with... Uh, words about their music. They talk about their music background and all that kind of stuff. Right. So it's very interesting. I find albums quite interesting because you said that, you know, they would follow up a really great album with a mediocre one. I, I think sometimes when uh, groups get big, they're expected to put out music. And, he, and, yeah, and it's like sometimes there, sometimes there isn't music to, to put out, So the, but the label says, well, you're hot. We got to put something out. It doesn't matter if it's good. And that's what happens. And that, that's what he talked about. He's like, uh, we are we put out music when we wanted to put out music. They're punks. Right. Right? So anyway, uh, let's move on to everybody's favorite segment. Beep, boop. Beep, Something boop. you didn't know about Tim. Roll it. Time for the segment. Something you don't know about Tim. Do go on. Tell us more. Well, that intro music is probably the most famous intro music in the podcast. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Out of all 
35 of our listeners. That is the most popular intro music of the podcast. We only have 35 listeners? Yeah, we got more than that, but I'm just making fun. We have 36 subscribers as of today. Okay. Um, and I think we have... There's. I don't know all the numbers from Spotify and Apple, Apple Podcasts, but there's a good amount of listeners. So it's good. Uh, but we would like to get more subscribers. So subscribe. Yeah, agreed. So tell me, Tim... Now that we've rolled the intro music, what is something we don't know about you? So I'm going to tell you a story. I told you a story on the road last week. Yeah. This story is a Labor Day story from Regina. Okay. I'm going to set it up. That's the setting. Beautiful city of Regina. I was just there on Friday night. Oh, yes. Uh, for one night on the way to Calgary. The but Queen City. That's right. Uh, this story has to do with a game. Obviously, the, I, we would go see the Bombers play in Regina yep. against the Riders. Uh, and I'm going to... For safety's sake, uh, use different names in this story because there's a couple of questionable uh, aspects of it. Let's call them my friends John, Casey, and Troy. <laughs> I wrote them down there just in case I said the right name. <laughs> These are fake names. These are so, all fake names. So John, Casey, or Troy. John, Casey, like the goaltender? <laughs> Maybe that's why I said John, <laughs> Casey, and Troy. Uh, we went to the, the Bombers versus the Riders, uh, yeah. and it was the year they had a, a parachuter. And the parachuter at halftime, yeah. uh, if he landed on the logo yeah. of, 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 there was a Taylor Field at the time, yeah. uh, then everybody in the stadium got like, I think $5 or $8, something free like that. Free play at the Free play casino. at the Casino Rama in Regina. Yeah, I remember this. So sure enough, I'm- I, I wasn't he, here. I'm not one of John Casey or Troy. <laughs> he wasn't on, the, he wasn't <laughs> on here. Uh, so sure enough, I'm using the, the, the bathrooms and I, and I hear a big cheer and I say, what's the cheer? Well, like, like, sure enough, he, got it. he landed on there. So every one of the tickets uh, you could use- Back in the day, you had ticket stubs. Yeah, could be used to uh, go to the casino rama and, and have five dollars to play, right? And of course, yeah. maybe you'd lose it or whatever. So, uh, so sure enough, after the game, uh, Casey, Troy, and John and myself went to the casino and handed over our tickets, and you know we lost it all within maybe thirty seconds or whatever it was, yeah. right? Because you know. You, you spin a couple of things, yeah. you press a couple of buttons. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You boop, 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 and not, away it goes. There I'm, goes I'm, your money. I'm not a big gambler. <laughs> and my friend turned to me and said, hey, if one ticket is worth $5, how much would 50 tickets be worth? They were like, well, I guess that would be 50 times 250 bucks or whatever. So, so we went back to Taylor Field. And no way. You all, walked all the way all, back. All four of us <laughs> walked for maybe 45 minutes and picked up. I, I want to say we picked up like 100 tickets because you'd be surprised. People just throw things on the ground. Yeah. The and, tickets back in the day were just... They're just, paper, they're just the paper tickets or whatever. And so we literally picked up, I want to say, 60 tickets. And we we gave it to each of us. And we, we went to, and you would redeem these things at, at one of these. And there was like five or four or five or whatever. Like the cashiers. Cashiers, right? So we went to each one taking turns and taking it and, and using it and, 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 and Getting whatever. Getting $5 right? every time. And so we must have ended up uh, with each, like, Eighty dollars each of winnings, <laughs> and and they and all of a sudden they got they got wise to it, so we have to stop. And then the next morning, we're at the hotel, and and my friend said, "Hey, we could just reprint our tickets a couple of times." So we went back the next morning, <laughs> and you I think guys. I think one of and I think we were down. That, that was day. John or Casey. It was Casey, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was so funny because. Um, the next day we went and we actually redeemed even more. We reprinted our tickets, right? Yeah. But the funniest part about the trip, and this is what made it funny, is that each time we go back, we would like change our appearance. And so we had like, you know. <laughs> How many outfits did you bring? And had like a, we took got a hat from their vehicle and then and we'd put the hat backwards. And each time we'd be like a different brand. Hello, is this, is this where you redeemed the voucher? <laughs> and I think by the end of it, we were the hearing us, we're, we're hearing on the intercoms, like beware of these guys who are, <laughs> so, but we, I, I'm serious. We each walked away by the end of the week with $110 in pays my, for the trip. It, it literally paid for the trip, and we were laughing so hard because we kept going back and t- redeeming these vouchers. Must have been. I know who one of these people were, <laughs> and I can't even picture them doing it. So but at the same time, now all I can do is picture them. So, doing so it. I, I can't tell their name because a it involves gambling. There's some people that might have an issue gambling alone. Yeah, and and number two, um, you know the there's a bit of maybe, you know, <laughs> maybe dishonesty on the whole thing. A little bit. 
hey, it's the old uh, rejection therapy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. didn't get rejected. <laughs> I just remember the story that I just remember the moment he said, hey, "If if one ticket is fine, could we do for, how much would uh, forty tickets?" <laughs> oh my! Well, goodness. Casey. <laughs> well, Casey, it would be worth uh, two hundred dollars. Uh, Finnegan might have been there too. Finnegan. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> This month is dark month. This is the month of darkness. It is October and it's getting darker earlier. Oh, so sad. So sad. It's getting colder. Yep. Although the hot tub will be nice. It will be. It's always nicer in the hot tub when it's a little bit colder. It is, especially in the mornings. I get up in the morning now before light Yeah. so that I can get in the hot tub when it's dark out and turn the lights on in the hot tub and pretend like I'm in like a spa of some sort. So- we're li- we live in Winnipeg, obviously, and it's one of the coldest places. Cold one of the Winnipeg jets uh, that you can possibly live in, um, and especially obviously in the winter. Um, yeah. I at the at the age of forty, I said to myself, it's "Like, there's no reason to spend the entire winter in Winnipeg. It's too cold. Like, you yeah. need a mental release from it." So, uh, you know, we we always now have to go somewhere warm for you know a week or two. You're out of here, uh, and. So, so we are, do you, uh, do you have plans to g- escape the, the cold here this, this winter? I do not yet, but, uh, we are working on plans to go on a cruise. So hopefully, and, uh, you've got plans to escape. We talked about that a couple episodes ago. So what, what's, what's stopping you from booking that? You should be booking that. Uh, yeah. That's not an answer. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. This segment brought <laughs> to you by his wife. <laughs> No, she's she's pushing me to book it. I know that's, that's what me. I'm saying. My, oh, you me want, fronting she, oh, and she asking told you, you. She told you hey, this is what you know. You got to book it, man. She told you to make sure I book it. Yeah, she yeah, did. Yeah, I haven't she, booked it yet. She didn't. I but. think it's just a matter of figuring out which one I want to go on. Plus, we're bringing the kids this time for the first time, so it'll be interesting. I I haven't taken the kids on a cruise before, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Well. um... I would love to end it on that high note, but we're not going to. <laughs> That's good. It's all downhill from here. Are you guys ready to drop the old hammer? <laughs> we're going to talk about our topic of the day. We, we like to have... Okay, so let's explain this. Yep. We like to have a topic of the day because we want somebody to learn something from our podcast as well, right? Right. So, and, and we're trying to just laugh. So, like, we know you could laugh yeah. all day at Tim's shenanigans. So, stealing things, <laughs> going to do free throws, taking people's money, <laughs> making fun of people. We could <laughs> laugh all day at all this stuff, yeah. but let's give them an educational yeah, so education. We, we, we want to balance sports. And I know the last couple of episodes oh, yeah. we've been talking about sports, but, sports, but there's so many, so many sports that we can, that we were talking about. And we do know a lot about sports. Yep. Well, at least I do. And, uh, <laughs> but we, we want to balance things out with, 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 with serious things. We have some guests yeah. lined up uh, in the next couple of months, uh, that are going to talk about something more than just laughing or sports. Uh, yeah. and, and, and we talked about rejection therapy uh, about three episodes again, which, which was fantastic. I really appreciated that. That we talked about that, so, and you had some good good points about some, it. So, but yeah, we do have some guests lined up, and we want to talk about these these subjects because yeah. some of our guests are experts in those subjects. Absolutely, and and you've just reminded me about something. Uh, but going back to Matt, your brother, yeah, um, you chose not to be hypnotized. Is that correct? Uh, correct. Okay, so you would not want to be hypnotized. I do not want to be hypnotized. Okay, I, you know what? I'm with Matt. I. I actually wouldn't mind. Yeah, I got. I, I bought the video of Matt being hypnotized. Yeah, it's, so I got the whole thing. It's kind of fun. Uh, you entertain other people. Okay, you bring so joy. Off the air. Sorry, Matt. But I'll show you <laughs> some of that video. And you will not want to be hypnotized <laughs> after that. <laughs> uh, I still, you, you'll show me. I'll let you okay, know. Okay, you let but, me know. But that we'll, can be, we'll, that we'll can be one of the time. questions. Can that be one of the questions yeah, this week? Question of the week. Would you be hypnotized? Would you, would you be willing to be hypnotized? Yeah. My answer, his answer, Greg's answer is no. no. Yeah. Mine is yes. I, I like that answer. I would like to see you hypnotized. Okay. I think that you are very susceptible and, to and, ideas. And I'll tell you a Look story. Look at I even got you to do this podcast. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you a story <laughs> off air that you explains why I would like to be hypnotized. Awesome. I can't, I can't tell it here either. So the topic today, and the reason why I want to talk about this, I brought this up to you on the phone while you were driving back from Alberta. Um, we just had Thanksgiving, um, and you know that I do this often and you make fun of me for doing it backwards sometimes, uh, 
after th- after Thanksgiving, I fasted for 24 hours. Right. And I generally, after bigger meals, will fast for 24 hours. And I generally fast for about 16 hours a day. So I do about a 16, 16, 8, I think it's called, uh, fast. Um, I And I was doing it a lot more back when I was in better shape. I've gotten a little bit out of shape. I am working back on that. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, I can get back on that. And uh, yeah, so fasting is important to me. And uh, I watched a video with... Um, Chris, it's one of the Hemsworth brothers, Chris Hemsworth, I believe, okay. called Limitless on uh, Disney Plus. Yeah, and one of the episodes is about fasting on Limitless, and it talks about fasting, about like when you fast, it allows your um, cells of your body to repair themselves because they are not being fed. So what he calls them is zombie cells, and these zombie cells um, can die off when you fast because they're not being fed sugar and glucose and like all the stuff that you shouldn't be eating my food contains glucose the fuel that feeds the trillions of healthy cells in my body but that glucose also feeds something else zombie cells old damaged cells that have lingered beyond their useful life by spewing toxic sludge, these zombies infect other healthy cells, speeding up the aging process. Everything from hair loss and wrinkles to the onset of arthritis, cancer and dementia. But what scientists have realized is that when we fast and cut off the supply of glucose, that zombie army is starved of energy which saps them of their power. Uh, which is why when you fast, when you end a fast, you should end a fast with like good fats and like protein and not with sugar. Yeah. And, and we can go on another rabbit trail. I'm not a about, doctor. About, about, about fats versus uh, carbohydrates yeah. <laughs> and sugars, uh, which at some point in the next few weeks we can get into, but not, not today. Uh, but it, to... For the record, I, I agree, and I like the idea of intermittent fasting. And there's so yep. much more uh, than just not eating that's involved in fasting. Uh, uh, by the way, Hem- Hemsworth, is he the one that was dating Miley Cyrus? Uh, no, I think it was the other brother. This is the one that played Thor. Okay. I get them confused. They look identical. Okay. Well, not identical, but they look very similar. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So the only so the only argument I have against your fasting is you use fasting <laughs> in, in like... If I fast for ten hours, I can eat twelve pizzas and, I do not eat 12 and pizzas. six, uh, seventeen chicken fingers and at a baseball game, <laughs> and then a diet coke and poutine and stuff. That's my only argument. Is I think yeah. you use it incorrectly a lot of the time uh, because <laughs> I, I know if we go out for wings. Uh, at a certain point, yeah. I'll ask him the same question. So, when did you fast from to have your seventeen hundred pounds of wings <laughs> that just digested in two weeks? And so, that's my only argument because, in general, I'm I do believe in fasting. Yeah. Do I do it? No, because I like to eat. Yeah, uh, you don't fast. You bri- well, you do fast. You fast from whatever time you eat yeah. last till yeah. the morning when you have your breakfast. I don't. I typically I don't eat carbs. Well, I don't eat starchy carbs. I eat don't fruits. Eat, yeah, uh, I don't have refined sugars. sugars and stuff like that. So I just don't. I don't eat that. I don't. So I don't feel the need to fast. But I would do it, and it so certainly technically everybody fasts. Um, and that's where the that's where the um, the word breakfast comes from to break fast. So like when you eat lunch, if that's your first meal of the day, that's your breakfast. When you eat your three eggs, uh, blueberries, frozen blueberries, and natural peanut butter, yeah. that's your breakfast, right. right? So if you haven't eaten since seven last night until seven in the morning, you have a 12-hour fast. Right. That's what it is. So anyway, so do you fast? That's what we want to know is if you fast, what kind of fasting do you do? And uh, if you're having a big meal like I do when we go over wings, do you fast before the meal? Because I do. I, I, I don't want to eat. I eat all my calories at one moment, so I don't want to fill up on calories all day. Isn't isn't that the opposite of the eat 
breakfast like a king and supper like a pauper mentality because you're so close to bedtime. It's like, I'm not going to eat anything all day, and then I'm going to eat horribly, and then I'm going to go to sleep 20 minutes later. <laughs> well, when we go for wigs, I don't go to sleep 20 minutes later. Okay, two hours. But, no, we go, to, we go to an eight-hour movie, and yeah. everybody sleeps. Do you do you eat after a certain hour, typically? Like uh, I try not to eat after... I'd like to not eat after seven. Um, I try not to eat after eight. Yeah. Either way, I don't eat again until 16 hours later. Right. The idea is your body starts to slow down closer to bedtime. Yeah. Uh, your digestion slows down. So if you're going to eat right before bed, it, that stuff is typically sits there and is slower. Get burnt. Have you heard that there's a comedian that I think he said a joke about... Um, uh, don't worry about having that last piece of cheesecake at nicely because you can just sleep longer. Because, like, in, in theory, sleeping burns calories. <laughs> I always think of that one. <laughs> don't worry. I don't sleep have to do 10. anything. And you, you, don't, you can't eat when you're sleeping, right? <laughs> I guess. I've never heard of that. <laughs> uh, the question we're asking is, A, do you fast? Yeah. B, are you familiar with fasting in general as a concept, right? That's right. Uh, Those are the two questions, right? Those are the two main questions. And and people can say, no, I think it's stupid, right? Yeah. Not eating for a period of time. Why why do people do that, right? And if you're a fitness person, do you agree with fasting? Um, The person that they interviewed on the fasting thing for Limitless, Peter Atia, I believe his name is, he's actually, he used to do 72-hour fasts. Um, He's gone away from that because he was losing muscle mass. So he's actually lowered his amount of time that he fasts now because he knows that his body needs it in order to contain, like to maintain his muscle mass. Right. And if, if, if you, it depends on what your goals are, right? Yeah. I mean, if, if it is to build muscle, well, you have to, you're told not only do you have to eat a certain amount, but exactly what you're eating when you're yeah. eating to build that muscle, right? Uh, to simply not workouts. eat. Yeah. Uh, people think, uh, and people think losing weights or um, uh, ga- gaining muscle is just about eating less. If I eat less yeah. and I exercise more, then good things are going to happen. But it's more complicated than that. Yeah. And that goes into all the benefits of exercise and healthy eating. Uh, but that's you know neither here nor there. We're just talking about fasting today. Uh, so anyways, those are so- the questions we have for people. So those are the questions we have for you today. Um, we're going to go on to questions from Instagram slash YouTube slash Twitter. And we didn't get to this question last week. Um, Billy answered the question in the opener because, uh, well, Billy just jumps the gun. But the question to you was, what is your favorite charity that you... Um, that you give to i know it's a very personal question so (laughs) if you don't want to answer it you're the moderator you ask all the questions (laughs) and i have to answer them well it was put onto youtube it was a question given to us i think it was a family member was it my one of my family members uh so we we give to our church yep uh quite regularly um well, we think we do quite right anyway. Um, and our church. Let I'm, me check the books. I, I believe that they do quite a lot of good work. Yeah. Um, I also like to. Uh, no, we bless, did the golf course. Yeah, I like the to, golf tournament. That's right. I like to bless other people individually too. Yeah. Um, you know, pay for someone's supper. Yeah. Uh, in a personal level, so those two things I would say. Are your um, biggest giving? Yeah, I can't say that individually I give to the Peace Corps. Or I, <laughs> I gave my daughter to the military, I suppose. You just blessed them with her. <laughs> yeah. So they'll never be the same. So I, I, I had an easier question. Okay. It was, how could you have oh, not... Oh, you, you, don't, you don't have to answer that question. <laughs> no, this question... It's not, like, do you believe in abortion? Here, and I, and it, I get, you, who's your favorite hockey team? <laughs> let me put it up on the screen here. See, exactly that. <laughs> Billy, what's your favorite wrestler? Tim, what's your favorite charity? And Greg, how dare you not see Goodfellas? <laughs> yeah. Those are the questions. Yeah. They're up there. Yeah. I can't I can't change the questions. and I, the only <laughs> We, thing we can't can possibly ch- not take them. <laughs> if someone asks... <laughs> A question for we, we we have to take we them. have to accept them <laughs> yeah yeah laf <laughs> <laughs> love accept and forgive eh? yeah so forgive them for that question uh so the question was how come you haven't seen goodfellas and it's just I, as a child i guess i just never saw it and i uh and i still haven't seen it i said i would watch it and i haven't watched it yet i don't have the time 
What are you talking about? You binge watch shows all the time. TV shows are different. You watch different. way. TV shows are different. It's, it's time is time. Yeah. You, you you tell me all the time. I, I I don't watch half the shows you do. You t- everybody has the same amount of time. You just use it differently. You just so, chose not to watch Goodfellas in particular, and you watch ten other shows. <laughs> don't tell me you don't have the time. I just don't That's, have the time. That is the worst argument for anything that anyone could ever 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 say. That's right. I don't have enough time. It's BS. Okay. And it's BS for every single question on the face of the planet. That's that's sorry, that's my third rant of the day. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have time. Uh, <laughs> and with that, we are out of time. <laughs> <laughs> You um, so for for those that are also commenting on Tim's mic skills, I am working on him <laughs> daily on those. Did I not do good today? He so this is uh, if you've noticed, Tim will go like this and talk beside the mic <laughs> instead of in front of the so mic. What, would you say six out of ten? You are a seven today. Seven? Yeah, seven. Previously, you were less. Okay, so I did better. You're better today, but you're still doing this. Okay. <laughs> I like to move around. I like to be yeah, fluid. Just keep the mic in front of your face. I, I like to do this. I like to go around. <laughs> yeah. And people get annoyed. Because you know what happens? <laughs> people that are listening to on you know, on the radio, they're like turning it up to hear you. And then they're turning it down. Ne- because next Greg's week, talking. next up week, and down, up there's going to be up and duct down, tape down. here. We're going to. I like to move around. What can I say? I know. We might be, maybe just have to... Uh, maybe these should be like five mics. You. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tim. I, I always like to ask this question at the end of the show. Tell me a obscure TV show that you just loved as a child. Night Court. Night Court? Oh, how does that song go? I can't remember, but Bull, Bull Shannon was awesome. Remember when he won the lottery? I he, don't. And he ripped it up and he's like, oh, the taxes. Because it was like an episode where everything went wrong. And then at the end, he won a lottery. He's like, oh, it's, it, the bad day continues. <laughs> oh, the taxes. <laughs> I don't remember it. But uh, Bull <laughs> and John Larroquette's character, that playboy. You can't get away with those shows anymore these days. He was on the, the reboot. The reboot. With a lot more facial hair. Really? Yeah. Oh. I guess you didn't watch it. <laughs> it's with the the one of the uh, actresses from uh, Big Bang Theory, oh. who played. Uh, oh yeah, the, the daughter girl. of the, the Bernadette. Yeah, Bernadette, who played the yeah. daughter of uh, J- Judge Stone, who the character that uh, the the actor di- has died since, right? So she came yeah. to pick up things, and that was oh. the whole thing. Yeah, new okay. judge. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Cheers, buddy. Till next week, episode six in the bag. You can move around. Yeah. Just keep your head on a swivel. I don't know. Like keep your keep your head on a swivel. Seven on ten. It's not bad. Thanks for watching the Greg and Tim Show podcast. See you again next week. Remember to share, like, and subscribe.